But how could an impact make a planet dense? By envisioning Mercury's cosmic attacker as a cannonball, we can help reimagine what happened. Let's fire cannonballs from this American Revolution cannon at a bowling ball covered with plaster 40 yards away. Now that bowling ball covered with plaster represents the early Mercury where the plaster is the mantle and crust. Now Gary Harper, our weapons expert, is gonna fire this cannon for us. Gary, how do we do this? Well, fairly simple. We use the appropriate powder charge, insert it into the bore, seat it. Yeah. We take our cannonball, we'll set that in, start it, we'll set that on top of the powder. How fast is this thing gonna go? Should be going about uh, 300 feet per second. Wow, that's about 200 miles an hour. Should do some real damage. Now, how about some hearing protection, Alex? Right, and my glasses here, right? And your glasses. Okay, now all we have left to do is prime it and we're ready to fire. All right, let's fire this cannon. Okay, fire on the hull. Right. Oh, yeah! It hit! <laughs> You blasted it! High five! Woohoo! We need to go take a look at that. Yeah, let's go take a look. Okay. Wow, there's stuff all over the place. Oh here. yeah, the plaster has been knocked off. Look at that. This is exactly how scientists think Mercury's crust was blown away, leaving the remaining planet an iron core. So this nicely explains how dense Mercury is. It has this big iron core because the rest of this stuff was largely stripped away by the collision. So good job aiming the cannon at this bowling ball. 